We're having a, a little bit of a storm at the moment, so uh, very wet outside, can't get outside to uh, film, so just doing it through the flap of the tent. Uh, <laughs> it's very windy and uh, we're into day five here. This is the server as at um, about z zero Zulu on day five. Looking quite good. Apparently uh, totals are up at uh, 29,990, no sorry, 29,933 worked. Uh, and that's made up by 50.2% CW, 49.8% ECSV, so um, it's pretty well balanced operation from that perspective. Looking at our band mode QSO statistics, it's uh, interesting to note that most of our QSOs have been on 15 metres, 5,500 to date, uh, followed by uh, 20 meters and 10 meters, uh, just under 5,000 QSOs each, and then uh, the walk bands are doing quite well as well. 3,800 on 18 megs, 3,600 on 12 meg, 12 meters, and just over 2,000 on 10 megs. 80 meters and 40 meters. Uh, and 160 of course are very hard work but we're making some progress there yeah. David's just working on the monitor at the moment re-establish re network next C. this uh, server is the key to the whole network um, to have all of the stations online so that the logging Station is uh, complete on the moment. server and then of course this uh, information is downloaded to Adam, VK4, Charlie Papa by Pactor on HF about twice a day and then the information appears on our website on the internet um, which is updated about twice a day, morning and night. Morning and night, yep. So that seems to be working very well. The feedback we've had so far is very, very good. And to date we've had uh, 36,000 hits, is that correct? On the website. Had the web, on the website, yeah, yes, uh, about, about 36,000 hits on the website, and we're only halfway through the operation on day five, so it's going very well. Here's the uh, statistical breakdown for each of the operators on the de-expedition, which shows uh, which operator and how many uh, QSOs on each band, uh, not by mode, just by total QSOs. So, for example, uh, we can look at uh, Steve, Golf 4 EDG, he has done 4,222 QSOs, uh, very good, and Hero, JP1 TRJ, has uh, currently done just under 5,500 QSOs, and uh, he's a very, very fast uh, ECSV operator. SSB generally is a little bit quicker than uh, the uh, CW going by these statistics because uh, VK4WR, ZL2BR, ZL4PO are all CW operators only. We have rigged two beverage antennas, in fed um, long wires through a high impedance matching transformer back to this uh, pair of diplexes here for use on 160, 80 and 40 receive. Each diplexer goes out to about a 10 dB uh, low noise amplifier made by Advanced Receiver Research of America. And we've basically got the beverages for uh, Europe, Asia and America. They appear to be working okay. This 2.5 kVA Honda generator has been ticking over beautifully for the whole time. We've had no problems at all with the generators. Very, very quiet. In fact, they're so quiet we've brought them into the uh, rest tent between the two station tents. Uh, on day five, we are approximately halfway through our fuel allocation 
which I think was about uh, 200 litres. This is the operating schedule. Down the left is time, which specifies who is operating at what station in three hour slots. There are suggestions as to where the operator should concentrate to make the most of prevailing propagation conditions. On the right, messages for the day. With feedback from the pilots, this provides operators with valuable information on where efforts are best directed. This whiteboard is a good visual way of planning what the team are doing for the day. This is the 30 metre SVDA. This is the Battle Creek Special VK version. How many radials, David? Do you know? 36 radials. Okay, there's the trap in the middle at the top of the 40 metre vertical. That resonates for to bring it down to 80 metres. CQ, CQ, OCQ, VK9, Mark, VK9, Mark. There are thousands of hermit crabs here. During the daytime they just take shelter underneath uh, a log or anything they can find that uh, gives them a bit of shelter from the sun. Also that these little ones. Seems to be a different variety. Looks like lunchtime. We better go get it. It's Frank, ZL2BR. <laughs> Get to cook for the day. Good for now, Aaron. Oh boy. Oh, yum. <laughs> Adam's going to have a ball with the thing, this, I can tell you. You're going completely crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what a fish. This is a giant trevally. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> what a fish! What a man! <laughs> Six meters is uh, wide open to Japan most days, or all, all day most days. Hi, Now I have uh, 3,883 Kusos on 6 meters. CQ, CQ, Victor Kilo 9, Mike Lima, VK 9, Mike Lima, AM this one. Japan, Japan, Florida Hotel Uniform. Japan, Japan, Florida Hotel Uniform, 5 9, Victor Kilo 9, Mike Lima. Ted doing RTTY operation on 15 meters. Japan Florida 6 Echo Zebra Yankee 5 9 do so. Hi, Ariato Dimas. Victor Kilo 9, Mike Lima. Victor Kilo 9, Mike Lima. Europe? No, Europe CQ, open. CQ, okay, CQ, Europe open on 15. Yeah. Long path. Hi, 5 Lady Fox. Hotel Bravo Oscar 5 9 do so. はい、ありがとうございました。こちらビクターキロ9、マイクリマ、AMですとどうですかいや、ワーキングアウトオーディオモジュレーションですね。いや。This <笑> United Radio Radio 59 Lima Echo Uniform 59 Here's a late development for our BCS Kite is actually taking the uh, top loading wire for the 160 meter antenna uh, up on the nice southeasterly breeze, which is very steady, 10, 15 knots, and uh, that should just stay there all night. No problem. 
One of uh, Eric's ideas, K3NA. Very good. Looks like they're heading back to the boat. One shift over, another one starting. Eric, Frank, Alan and David. Forty meters, just starting for the evening with Steve. QSL, QRZ. Japan, Germany, Y, Uniform Zero, five nine. Katsu is now running uh, RPTY on a uh, 6 meter band. It's a CQDE VK9ML with the 160 meter linear amplifier on. As our team pushed Mellish Reef down the most wanted list, see the final days of VK9ML coming up.